Did I really do this? Yep. Here we have some problems, some word problems that have two steps in them. Let's take a look. This first one says Bob ran five laps in six minutes and 30 seconds. Part A says how many seconds did it take Bob to run five laps? So we simply have to convert this six minutes 30 seconds into just seconds. Well I know I'm going to leave the 30 seconds alone. I'm just going to convert the minutes and I know that there are 60 seconds in a minute. So my conversion factor here, I'm starting with six minutes, my conversion factor is that and I, I can write it two ways, right? There's 60 seconds in one minute, or there's for every one minute, there's 60 seconds. When I multiply my conversion factor by my original, whoops, my original number here, I need to make sure that minutes is on the bottom so that it cancels out. I'm going to write this as a fraction, and 60 seconds will be on top and one minute on the bottom. Now these units cancel out. I'm left with seconds. That's what I want. And now to do the math, I simply multiply the fractions. On the top, 6 times 60 should be 360. That's seconds. And on the bottom, 1 times 1. So I could put over 1, but it's 360 seconds. But I have to add back in this 30 seconds that I left out. So it's actually 390 seconds. It's a lot of work already just for part A. Let's go on to part B. It says Bob's average time for running each lap was how many seconds? So you recall he ran five laps in this amount of time, which is this amount of time. If we want to find out his average time for a lap, all we have to do is divide this by the number of laps. So it's 390 divided by 5. And if you do that on your calculator, uh, let's do it here. 390 divided by 5. I think that comes out to 78 seconds. All right, let's look at another one of these. This one says Dale bought six pounds of apples for 82 cents per pound and paid for them with a $10 bill. How much money should he get back and change? So this one doesn't have a part A and a part B, but there are really two things to do here. The first one is to figure out what was his bill. How much did he have to pay? It says he bought six pounds at 82 cents per pound. So we need to multiply there. 6 times 0.82. So you can do that in your calculator, on your calculator. And that comes out to $4.92. Now it says he paid with a $10 bill. How much money should he get back and change? That part requires subtraction. So you take the $10 that he's giving them, the $4.92 that he owes, and you subtract. So we have to do some borrowing here. 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 4 is 5. And he gets, it's hard to see here, $5.08 back. All right, one more. This one says a one year subscription to the monthly magazine costs $29.40. The regular newsstand price is $3.05 per issue. How much is saved per year by paying the subscription price? Well, if we want to find out how much you're saving uh, by paying the subscription, we need to find out how much it would cost for a whole year if you were buying it um, at the newsstand. It says it's $3.05 per issue at the newsstand, and it's a monthly magazine. So there are 12 months in a year. We would multiply 12 months times three dollars and five cents to figure out your yearly cost of buying it at the newsstand and that would be thirty six dollars and sixty cents that's the cost of a whole year uh, buying it at the newsstand you can see you are going to save some money if you're only paying twenty nine forty to find out how much you're saving you would just subtract looks like you're going to save $7.20.